Photoshop is the go-to tool for creating professional looking designs and artwork. It can be used to create stunning t-shirt designs such as those seen on Supreme and Palm Angels products. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to use Photoshop to create a rip bare head design. Make sure you like and subscribe and also feel free to leave a comment. Without further ado, let's jump right in. The first thing you want to do is create a new document and I will be working in inches. Change the width to 10 and the height to 13 with a resolution of 300. We will keep the background white, but go ahead and open up the bare photo. Double click this layer and rename it and convert it to a smart object. Now go to select subject and create a mask. Now drag and drop the bear into the new document and resize it. Now on the mask layer, we will take one of these brushes. I believe it's a default brush in Photoshop. Brush away some of the edges along the bear to make it look a bit more like fur. Now we're gonna add a camera raw filter. and change the temperature to 10. The exposure will be 0 0.35. The contrast will be 12. The highlights will be 100. The whites will be 38. And the blacks will be negative 66. And then for vibrance, do negative 29. And the saturation will be negative 13. And click OK. Now convert this layer to a smart object again and place this within its own folder. Now let's add a hue and saturation layer above it and create clipping mask. Change the hue to 14 and the saturation will be negative eight. Now on the bare layer, grab your magnetic lasso tool and make sure feather is set to five. Now outline the bear's head. And create a mask from it. Duplicate this layer and get rid of this layer's mask and make a selection from the old mask and select inverse and create a mask because we want to isolate the head and the body of the bear. Now select the bear's head and transform it and rotate it sideways and put it off to the right side of the bear. And now select the body of the bear and make a selection from the stomach and copy and paste and place it behind the bear. Here we're just gonna make like a little patch from the inside and now we will darken it a bit using a brightness and contrast layer. Change the brightness to negative 62 and the contrast to 67. Now select this patch area and create a mask and now we're gonna soften it up a bit using some soft brushes. Now open up the cotton file and select subject and make a selection of the cotton.
and copy and paste your cotton into your file and resize it so that it fits within this opening part of the top of the teddy bear's head or where the head used to be. And then create a mask and again use a soft brush to get rid of these dark edges. Now let's add some noise. Change the amount to 3%. The distribution will be Gaussian and make sure monochromatic is checked. Now here we're just gonna duplicate this layer and we're gonna apply some cotton to the head as well. Now we're gonna select both of these layers and place them within its own group or folder and add a new layer on top and I will name this shadow. And make sure you create clipping mask and change your foreground color to a dark brownish color. And use a soft brush to add a bit of shading along the bear's head. And we will also do the same for the bear's body as well. and change this layer to multiply and decrease the opacity a bit. Now grab your pen tool and we will add a inner white lining along the bear's head or where the bear's head used to be. and fill the lining with white. Now let's apply a Gaussian blur, change the radius to 12 and click OK. And decrease the opacity a bit. Now for the final touch, we will need to add the name of our brand. And in this example, I decided to change it up a bit and I am calling mine Palm Cherubs. and place it right underneath the bear using the font Old London, which is also linked in my description box. And the size is about 33 using the color black. And that is how you make a Palm Angels inspired rip bear head design. So if you like this video and you would like to see more, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.